Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to now show you how to make a wonderful dish out of pumpkin and coconut. Very simple ingredients, very simple dish, but absolutely beautiful to look at and also to eat. So let's get cooking. You're going to first start with the pumpkin. Now I've got this baby red pumpkin here. You can use a large pumpkin if you like, entirely up to you. And what I've done is I've cut it into half and I've taken out the seeds from the side, from the center. So you see all these seeds and all this white part here, you really can't eat that. So I've scooped that off with a knife. And what I have got left is basically just veggies of uh, red pumpkin. I've kept the skin intact because that's going to hold the shape. I want it to be nice and colorful when the dish is finally going to be cooked. But again, as you can see, I've taken out the seeds and the fibery part of the pumpkin. Uh, if you have a large pumpkin, you can cut them into smaller pieces, it works well. Uh, for us, for chefs, we like to make it a nice crescent shape because it looks visually quite nice. So when you present the dish, it really looks nice. But you can cut them into large cubes or thin slices, it's entirely up to you. Now this has a flavoring or a marinade. Now pumpkin on its own is actually quite earthy and has a very kind of a slight sweet kind of a, a flavor to it. So you need to add more flavors in it to bring it off. Otherwise it tends to become quite sweet on its own. I'm going to show you one of a very simple marinades. So I have got that uh, here. I've got red chili and I've got garlic and I'll do a very quick recap. It's basically dried red chilies, which have been blanched into hot water, strained off, dried off with a piece of cloth or a absorbent paper, put into a blender jar, a little bit of garlic, a little oil and uh, salt. And you whip it up till it becomes nice and smooth. And this I'm going to add a little salt. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. I mean, lemon juice really brings out the flavor of the pumpkin when it is cooked. And I'm also going to add a little olive oil. I'm going to be a bit generous on the olive oil because I'm going to use this olive oil as also a dressing into my sauce. And also because the red chili is going to steep in this oil, it is actually going to color and also flavor the oil. So you'll see at the last, the flavor of the oil and the color goes into the oil. And when you put the drizzle onto the dish, it looks quite nice. And I'm going to add one single herb in this. I am going to use some rosemary. Now I've got a little wet cloth here, or wet uh, kitchen paper. Now the reason why we wrap our herbs into a kitchen paper or a wet towel as such, is it keeps the herbs quite fresh. So when you get them from your herb garden at home or when you buy it from the shops outside, you can clean them off. You can wet a towel or an absorbent paper and you can then use these. So in this case, when you store them like this in your fridge, it will always last for a little longer. So when we work in a restaurant, we always hold our herbs into a wet towel or in a wet absorbent paper to keep them nice and fresh. Got rosemary here. And also have uh, one of my favorites, which is a curry patta, which I will come to when I start making the sauce. Now all you do at this stage is just pull the rosemary off from the stems. This much should be enough. And we will stir that together. So what you get now, you basically get a marinade or a flavoring made out of rosemary, garlic, a bit of chili, and lemon. I'm going to let that stay for a while. What we also do normally is uh, when we make the marinade, we rub it onto the pumpkin and we leave it aside for a good hour or two and it can work well. But what happens in that is when you actually begin to cook the pumpkin, the marinade tends to burn, the rosemary tends to burn. So in this case, I'm going to teach you a trick of you first sear the pumpkin into a hot pan and then you add the marinade and it goes in the oven to cook you will always get a better product. So the next step is to cook and sear the pumpkin. I have a pan here which has got little grill marks on it. Now what that does is when you actually heat up the pan, when you put your pumpkin or you put a piece of protein or whatever you want to put on, it begins to get the line marks on the ingredient and that looks quite beautiful and nice. So it's always very inviting to have food which actually looks quite nice. So invest into a pan, into a little uh, kind of a non-stick pan or a heavy bottom pan which has got grill marks. It really works well. In this a little oil. I can use a normal vegetable oil or a little olive oil, but I'm going to use the oil from the marinade. I have taken excess oil here. Now again, as soon as you put the oil into the hot pan, it begins to sizzle, but it also releases the aroma and the flavor of the marinade. 
And all you do at this stage is you're going to put the pumpkin onto the pan. And you let that cook on the heat till each side is becomes like a grill marks. Now as you're cooking it, uh, beside the grill marks, the pumpkin also begins to cook. So it also helps you to cook it further because this is eventually going to go in the oven to finish off. But the searing is very important because that gives it a kind of a very nice color on the exterior of the pumpkin. It gives a line marks. Hopefully we'll see when we flip it over. But also it begins to give a flavor. As soon as you start hitting the oil, the oil begins to impart its flavors onto the pumpkin. You can actually smell the wonderful aromas of the cooking of the pumpkin. It really smells quite nice. At this stage, I'm going to slightly baste it with a little bit of oil on the other side before I flip it over of oh, the aroma of the, uh, the spice, the garlic and the pumpkin is very nice. Okay, let's have a look. Let's flip it over. There you can see. It's got the marks there. And also it begins to cook slightly. You can see it becomes a bit soft on the this side. Now this technique you can use for anything, you know. This is just pumpkin here. But if you want to use one to a poultry, a piece of fish, you want to put pieces of prawns. Uh, you've got to say mango, for example, a firm mango. You can slice it up, you can put it onto the pan. It has a wonderful grill marks. And you serve it as a garnish or as a salad. It's very nice to have that. So again, let that again cook for a little longer. Just to make sure the second side also begins to get the grill marks. So at this stage, while that is being done, I am going to add a little more oil. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to slightly put the marinade on top of the pumpkin. Now don't forget that this marinade is already pre-cooked because the chili has been pre-cooked, so it's perfectly fine. You just have to be careful not to overcook in the oven, otherwise they tend to burn. So I'm going to add a little more than half right now. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to add a little more of the marinade just to refresh it. Now I always say when you're actually cooking at home, try and invest into a decent set of pots and pans because that makes a huge difference. What I will also do is, I'm actually going to put my rosemary just roughly broken down on the pumpkin switch off the heat and this pan what I have here has, has a removable handle so I take out the handle because the handle is made out of plastic there we are and this being in cast iron can actually go straight away into the oven to roast further. So you know you have the same pot for cooking and the same pot you use to keep in the oven uh, to cook it further. If you don't have such pots, you can probably get a handle, uh, a pan with a cast iron handle and put the whole thing inside or transfer that into a roasting tray and then put them in the oven to cook further. Now because it will be seared on both sides, this will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes till the pumpkin is just about cooked and ready to be served. So this now goes in the oven. The oven has been preheated to 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and this should take anything between 10 to 15 minutes. The older the pumpkin, the longer time I'm going to cook. Uh, for a baby pumpkin like this, it's a lot less. All you want to do is you want the flesh to become nice and soft and not really become mushy and that's the reason why I also kept the skin of the pumpkin intact because even if the flesh of the pumpkin becomes a bit soft or over soft the skin will hold the shape so when you cut into it you can actually eat it a lot easily. Next step is to actually make the sauce to go with that which is one of my favorite things which is coconut and curry leaves. I'm going to show that to you now. The sauce is very simple to make. I've got a deep pan to make my sauce, a little bit of oil. Now again, oil can be any oil which you like. Uh, I'm using olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil, 
rapeseed oil that works very well. You know, uh, don't have any flavored oil as such. A neutral oil works quite well. You want to use butter, you can use butter. But this dish is going to be absolutely uh, dairy free. So very good for vegans. Otherwise, butter also works well. The sauce is made out of very few ingredients. It's inspired by Kerala, which has uh, lots and lots of coconut all around it. So to begin with this, I'm going to first heat up my pan. I've got a little oil going in there. I'm going to warm it up slightly. For Southern cuisine or South Indian cuisine, uh, it's very important that they you understand that there are always a few herbs or a few spices which you use. Predominantly is going to be mustard seeds. So you know, use mustard seeds, you use star anise, you use cinnamon, it works well. Uh, they, these are kind of uh, flavors which work well. The red chili whole works well because I like the food a bit punchy also. Uh, I try and tone it down in terms of the flavors I use. I will only use one spice here, which is the black mustard seeds. Now mustard seeds you get out of uh, different types. You get the black mustard seeds, you get the red mustard seeds, which are very flavorful and intense. You also get the yellow mustard seeds. A yellow mustard seed generally are used for making salad dressing or for garnishes. You really don't cook with them. It doesn't work. It doesn't have much flavor. The black mustard seeds and the red mustard seeds have the most flavor. And the best way to extract flavor of the mustard seeds is by actually adding into hot oil, never a cold oil, because these have to go into the hot oil for them to pop open and release the flavors into the oil. And that is how you actually impart flavors into your dish. So we keep emphasizing of how do you get flavors into your dish and the tempering is very important because when you put them into a cold oil they don't really burst open and they don't release their flavors properly correctly but once the oil is hot and you add in your spices it begins to release faster but you've got to be very careful because if you cook it for too long they will tend to burn and that's the reason why you add some kind of a moisture into the pan and that could be through a tomato through an onion through a garlic or ginger because these vegetables have got moisture so they bring the temperature down but at the same time they don't let the spice burn so that is very very important you got to feel the heat it'll get a little more hotter i've got some chopped garlic i've got some chopped ginger i've got some green chilies green chilies i have kept them slightly on a large pieces because uh, some people don't like to eat them in the food so they can always take it out otherwise otherwise chop them very finely even that will work if you don't like the chili, then you know it's very simple. Don't add chili at all, it doesn't work. I've got some very finely chopped onion here, red onion because that has the best flavors. The white onions are very watery, so they're really not very nice to have. And I've got my favorite, curry leaves. You know, curry leaves are excellent because they have a very nice kind of a, a natural flavor, natural oils, it works well. This is quite quick and rapid. Oil needs to be warm and hot. And you can see, as soon as I put it into the pan, it begins to pop. So the sound tells me what happens next. You add vegetables which have moisture. So, see it already dancing in the pan. You add the garlic, you add the ginger, chopped ginger, chopped green chili. I'm going to add onion, not all of it. The other half I've kept for the next part of the dish. I'm going to slice it around or stir it around. And then goes in my lovely curry leaves. And all you do is, I mean, I'm lucky I've got a curry leaf in my garden here. So it's from my own gardens. There you go. All the flavors inside. So the stick also has flavor. Put that in. Stir that together. As soon as you begin to cook the curry leaves into the oil, curry leaves also have a natural oil in them. And that oil is released into the masala. So what you get is a wonderful base already beginning to build up. So you have the mustard seeds, you have the garlic, the ginger, the green chili, and the aromatic curry leaves. All that is already infusing into your base of the dish. Now if I cook it for too long, the onions and the garlic will tend to caramelize. And once they caramelize, then the dish takes on to a light brown color. I don't want that to happen. So I'm stirring it to make sure that it does not really brown. And in this goes in coconut milk. So it's a thick coconut milk. Just pour that in. I'm going to stir that together. And I'm going to bring the mixture to the boil. So you can see the sauce. The sauce is going to be a lovely chalk white in color, a bright white in color. The pumpkin is going to be orange in color with specks of red around it. So in your mind, try and visualize the colors of the dish 
how it will be presented onto the plate and that that is very key because when you put the food down onto the plate it has to look beautiful it has to look very nice salt without salt there is just no flavor in food let me stir that in and all i do now is basically bring this mix to the boil and the sauce is ready it will also thicken slightly as it cooks the sauce has come to a boil i've reduced it down to let it simmer to just to thicken up and you can see it gently begins to thicken up there you go see the line that tells you that the sauce is almost ready salt is fine but all it needs at this stage is a dash of lemon juice just a little lemon juice and i want to switch off and keep it aside now till the time the sauce is ready my pumpkin is almost done i'm going to now make the garnish for the dish and that is going to be with some nuts now again if you look at the flavor profile you've got the pumpkin which is nice and soft you've got the coconut sauce which is quite mellow and smooth you need to add a bite and that's the reason i'm going to add pumpkin seeds into my sauce now for that i have with me is basically a little bit of pine nuts and i've got pumpkin seeds here to stir it all together so in goes my pumpkin seeds i'm also going to add some pine nut a little salt i'm going to add some chopped onion cuz this thing will give a very nice kind of a bite to the entire dish little bit of lemon juice again the citric flavor really works well uh, with the dish it brings out the flavors quite well just stir that all together and lastly a little bit of olive oil not much just a tablespoon is fine and here we are so that are the three parts to the dish so we have the roasted pumpkin we have the coconut sauce and we have the wonderful nut salsa to give it the kind of a bite so all that is left now is to actually plate it up and make it look nice the pumpkins have been cooked and they are out of the oven i've let them rest for a while now if you look at them if you press them slightly they are easily breakable or they can mash up very easily that tells me the thing is already cooked all i do at this stage is i'm going to slightly refresh that with some of the marinade don't forget this marinade is already cooked so it doesn't really matter but just gives it a kind of a fresh flavor to the pumpkin could you just turn that over keep it the same glaze that is done they actually smell wonderful and i'm very pleased about the whole thing okay pumpkin done sauce done my garnish is done it is now time to plate the dish up and this is probably one of the best parts which i enjoy the most is to actually put food onto the plate and make it look really nice the first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add the pumpkin onto the plate take out the rosemary stalks this i am going to add a little bit of my pine nut and pumpkin salsa again to give it a wonderful little texture to the dish and what i'm going to do is i've got some herbs from my garden and some flowers now fortunately i do have a wonderful herb garden and also got flowers growing in them so i'm going to lightly garnish the plate with a little few herbs around and i've got this wonderful flowers from my garden so i've got a little scissor just so a few flowers just to 
make it pretty you got to make the food all very interesting it has to be quite eye appealing for your guest to enjoy because you know small small things really makes a huge difference to the plate you know got is small tiny white flowers also which i will dress the plate up with so flowers gone pumpkin seeds gone I clean up the plate and last but not the least i have this wonderful white coconut sauce which we made out of curry leaves onion garlic mustard seeds i strained that off because i wanted it to be a very smooth flowing sauce so it's strained off but all the goodness remains into uh the sauce now what i'll do is i'm going to add a little bit of my chili oil into the sauce and if you look at it very closely you know because it is a liquid is moisture is oil and is water they basically don't mix together but what you get is kind of a ripples of oil the red oil into the coconut milk and just stir that in gently and in that goes just pour it gently around how pretty is that just look at that the wonderful colors of the pumpkin a little more of the oil just to drizzle onto the plate and there you have it love on a plate that's what what i would call this dish it's got wonderful flavors of the coconut milk it's got roasted pumpkin a bit of chili to give it a kick not too spicy a bit of garlic and a wonderful pine nut and a pumpkin seed salsa to finish it off with some edible flowers great dish vegetarian very healthy a vegan dish make sure you guys try it at home and do enjoy and don't forget never stop cooking so until next time happy cooking